Mr. Loompa? Well, I am an Oompa Loompa, and I work at Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Is orange your natural skin color? Yes, orange is my natural skin color. Now tell me, what do you do at Mr. Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory? Well, I make chocolate and other types of candy, and I sing the songs to the bad children. Now tell me, what type of songs do you sing to the bad children? Oompa, loompa, doopity dee. If you are wise, you'll listen to me. Oompa, loompa, doopity doo. Am I a fashion doo? If you are wise, you'll listen to me. Oompa. Do baby do or am I don't green hair, white eyebrows, orange skin, baggy, saggy eyes. Can you find the golden ticket? I've got the golden ticket. I've got the golden ticket right here. I hope you enjoy this crazy tutorial of how to get an Oompa Loompa look. Hi everybody, so today I'm going to be showing the Oompa Loompa look and I'm going to be teaching you a couple techniques about how to get certain colors and some very fun techniques. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. The type of yellow paint that I'm using is just one of those water activated ones that you can find at Walmart um, for a couple dollars. It came in a little kit with other paint crayons and um, some other things, but I'm, I just wanted it for the yellow paint. Now, if you do have orange face paint, then you can totally skip this. Again, I, I'm just taking this color and I'm just, whoops, <laughs> it went flying. I'm just breaking it up like so into little crumbly pieces. Now, this stuff does feel more like a dried up clay rather than a fine pigment. So it's going to take a couple minutes to break okay, this up. So it is broken up like this and I have a little teeny bit of water in this little lid here. I'm not going to tilt it for you to see because I'll spill it everywhere. But what I'm going to do is just take my fingers and get a couple drops and sprinkle a couple drops of water in there. And it's going to let um, some of this yellow paint mix up and start to loosen up a little bit. Now, the reason I smashed it up like this is that way there's more surface area for the water to get to so it mixes better. And to learn all the science about that, you can Google it. Mixing this up with a little paddle, and as you can see, the paint is already starting to really break down. So it's a very vibrant, kind of like a banana. Now one important yellow. thing I do want to let you know is that if you do decide to mix up your own paints, um, you want to use paints that are similar as far as what they are made of. That way they mix better, they don't separate while on your face, and everything looks better. So that helps with application as well. As you can tell I put my hair back because I'm going to be covering my face in a very bright orange and I really don't want to get that in my hair although um, I will be showing you a really cool technique in a bit uh, to show you how to get a fun green hairdo without having to go out and buy yourself an expensive wig that you probably only use once. So to prime your face I'm going to be taking a little bit of um, Vaseline or any type of petroleum jelly. I'm just using a generic brand. I'm going to rub it all over my face in a very light coat. This is going to help um, the red uh, paint from dyeing your face when you're done. And this also helps the paint stick to your face a little bit better than just applying it to by itself and also with cream paints they tend to crack a little when you wear them for a longer time so this is going to happen. So just apply it everywhere including your eyebrows because you will be putting some paint in your eyebrows for the white eyebrows of the funky Oompa Loompa. Don't forget your nose and especially around the cracks otherwise it's going to look like you have a cold because the red from the paint is actually going to go in every little crack and crevice on your face. 
So I'm just going to be taking my cheapy foundation and mixing it with a little bit of orange eyeshadow. Okay, so what I've done is I've poured a little bit of that foundation with some orange eyeshadow um, pigment. And I'm just going to mix it together using my foundation brush. And you might have to continue adding orange pigment to it so that it actually becomes that I have here. Okay, so what I ended up doing with the um, foundation is adding in some yellow and pink as well so that it wouldn't be such a peachy color. So that is the color I've come up with. Go ahead and just apply the orange all over my face. So my skin is very orange. I've applied the orange with a foundation brush. Jawline and the hairline. And the ears. I've already gotten the ears. The back. Yeah. Okay, so now my face is completely orange and I feel like a big orange. I'm going to go ahead and set it with some loose powder. And this is just from Airspun. And I'm going to take a damp sponge and this is just this Sephora multi-purpose sponge and I'm just going to dip it in there and just pat it over my face. Don't worry if it lightens up the orange because it will blend and take over the orange color. So I'm going to go ahead and finish powdering and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so now that your face has been set with powder, it should actually feel like your normal skin, which will help it to stay put while you are trick-or-treating or at your Halloween party or wherever you are planning to be. The next step is to take a white eyeliner pencil, and I'm using one from Jessie's Girl, and just filling in your eyebrows using this white pencil. And this is just going to lightly cover up the brown in your eyebrow. Okay, so the reason I chose not to use the glue stick method to cover up my eyebrows is because I still want the appearance of hair. And also the white eyeliner has more of a greasy feel, so it, it will cohere with the white face paint we're going to be using a little bit better than the glue stick method. And it's more last, it lasts longer. I'm just taking a basic shading brush, and I'm just going to kind of pat this white over my eyebrow. like so and just kind of layer the white that way you can always darken it up later if you have to and that way you don't add too much the white eyebrow and I'm going to do the other one and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so now I officially look like your grandpa with white eyebrows that are really poofy, weird, and an orange face. Woo I'm going to go in with that same uh, finishing powder and a concealer brush and I'm just going to set the eyebrows a little bit with that. Um, if you do get it on the orange a little bit more, just blend it out with either your finger or a, another. Go ahead and powder them again with just a concealer brush, just tapping it in like now, so. Now, most of the Oompa Loompas have a very strong jawline, so I'm going to go ahead and fake one for you. I'm taking a flat kind of stippling brush almost. I'm going to be taking this brown eyebrow shadow and just tapping it on its side into the brown like so and I'm gonna go ahead and use that to draw imaginary lines to make it look like I have a stronger jawline. Here is where I just want to shadow it a little bit going down in a diagonal line and just kinda take the top of the brush and swirl it to blend the brown out so it's not so noticeable I'm 
blend it into your temple a little bit. And just blend it out. And now your face looks a little bit more defined here. And I'm going to go ahead and speed this up for you. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to blend this line out just a little bit more so that it's more natural. I'm just taking a normal blush brush to do that. And I'm just taking this palette and I'm just running my brush up and down the light browns and whites. Um, it's not going to be the exact um, white color and it's not going to be a, a dark brown but it helps blend it down a little bit. As you can see I'm just kind of lightly taking the tip and I'm holding the brush just at the very end here and I'm just lightly brushing this down. And there we go. Okay, and I've also taken a little bit of a peachy orange eyeshadow and just blend it over the brown. Again, this helps blend it down so it's not so strong. I'm going to be taking this black eyeliner pencil, and this is just a Wet n Wild brand. I'm going to take the black eyeliner pencil and just kind of draw a very light half circle under your eye. You can take a sponge applicator. This is just one that came with the face painting kit and just blend it I'm out. I'm going to go in with a white eyeliner. Line my waterline. I'm going to line my lash line a little bit with it. This is going to make your eyeball appear a little bit bigger than it is. Going in with that same sponge applicator. I'm going to kind of blend the white down a little bit. I'm going to go in with a flesh tone, like this one here. And I'm just going to place it on the top of my cheekbones here, just where the light would normally shine. And because Oompa Loompas have green hair, I'm going to be taking a green mascara. I'm just taking this green mascara and applying it over the black. The black stands as a base to allow for the green to really show. That's the makeup for your Oompa Loompa. And I'm going to go ahead and get my hair ready for you. And to get the green hair that'll stay in place even, is I took this um, got to be glued sty um, styling spiking glue and mixed it with green eyeshadow and put it all throughout my hair. And that's how you get the green. Um, of course you can buy a wig, but I didn't want to go out and buy a wig that I would never ever wear again. Yeah. So, comment, subscribe, like if you like it. Thumbs up. Um, send your requests my way. I really enjoy doing, doing these. Thank you, Bethany, for your request. Um, boompity doompity day. <laughs> enjoy your candy. Bye.